So we're finally starting to see some HDMI 2.1 matrixes come out that support two outputs. And I'll link to this one in the description down below, but it's pretty exciting to me because as I mentioned, you actually get four inputs and two outputs that are gonna support up to 8K 60 Hertz, 4K 120 Hertz, Dolby Vision, HDR. It also has an audio extractor on it for left and right channel analog or optical if you need that. You're seeing everything that comes in the box from the power cable. The box itself is just a plain white box. We also get a remote uh, that includes everything that you need from turning it on and off, selecting your inputs, your outputs. It does take one of those small circular type batteries. I believe it's a 2025 if memory serves me correct. It's not included in the box, so you're gonna to need to grab one of those. And then here is the matrix itself. You've got an upgrade port that's really not something that you're gonna use. We have manual buttons for selecting if you don't wanna use the remote. LEDs along the front side and an on off switch. This is all made out of metal. No plastic parts really at all. We've got some rubber footers along the bottom. That's pretty much the only plastic you're gonna find here. Ventilation slots on either side. Uh, and again, it really screams quality from that perspective. Along the back, we have our power port. We have two outputs. That's kind of the star of this show. And four inputs. And then to the far right, we've got our audio out uh, both analog and digital being optical. So you can actually extract the audio from the HDMI and put it into that format if you need it. Here's what it looks like powered up and in the dark. Those lights are not blinding by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, they're pretty dim, uh, but you can see them. It's not gonna go blinding you on your desktop or anything like that. And then as we take a look on the PlayStation dashboard, you're gonna see that everything is supported here. Uh, you've got HDR support at 120 hertz if your games and or applications support it. Uh, and you also get that 120 hertz at 4K in non-HDR mode. VRR support is there as well. Now, I want to remind you of something. Just because we are supporting 4K 120 hertz with this matrix doesn't mean that your games support it. So the game is going to have to support that. And right now, there's not a ton of games out there that do that. I'm showing you Destiny 2 because this is one of the games that will support 4K 120 hertz over HDMI 2.1, but only in Crucible mode, and you have to turn that on. And so when you move into Crucible mode, you're gonna see a flicker on your screen. This is the monitor's changing frequency. And now, once we're in this mode, you're gonna see that it's reported coming in at 120 hertz. So it does work as advertised there. But again, it's not gonna give you 4K 120 hertz you know, if the game doesn't support it. So it doesn't do any sort of magic upscaling or anything like that. I mean, this is only gonna pass that through and allow for it to happen if your game supports it via HDMI 2.1 and developer support. Now I'll also mention, even going back out of this mode, you're gonna get screen flicker. So you see it right here, and that's gonna happen when you move between frequencies. It can be between modes in a game. It can be popping out from your dashboard into a game or vice versa. And so that I would expect over time may get better as the technology advances. Again, there is only a small handful of these devices on the market today, and I had a really hard time finding an HDMI 2.1 matrix that supported more than one output. And so this is something I saw with even the ones that only have one output. So you typically are gonna get that flicker. This device works really well. And again, it's, in my opinion, it's designed for somebody who wants to stream and or do game capture through a capture card or something, but you also wanna play on a second monitor and you wanna be able to have the flexibility so you're not always swapping cables. This gives you that flexibility. You're taking a look at the Xbox dashboard here. And again, just showing you everything is supported. 4K 120 Hertz. Remember the Xbox uh, Series X does support 120 Hertz at the dash. So that's why it's there. But this is a great option. I mean, again, it's not without its faults. There are a few rare occasions where I saw a screen flicker here or there for just a microsecond. Nothing major, nothing that would prevent me from going for this device. I expect the technology to get better over time. It's not cheap. It's gonna come in at about 189 at the time of this video, but I will link it in the description down below for those of you looking for something like this that supports 
two outputs. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content and feel free to leave a comment down below if you'd like. I'd be loving to hear your thoughts on this. Until next time, I'll catch you later.